My name is Rebecca Bray and I am the Assistant Supervisor of Medical and Quarantine Operations for the Fish and Invertebrates Department at Mystic Aquarium. So several years ago our veterinary team in conjunction with our Fish and Invertebrates team developed a preventive health care program for our Fish and Invertebrate collection which allows us to routinely assess their health status. We have two species of moray eel. We have purple mouth moray eels and green moray eels. They lack traditional scales like a lot of fish have and just have a long undulating body. Typical moray eel examination consists of initially getting a hold of the animal and getting them sedated. They then go on top of our fish cart, which is a modified cart, has an upper deck level where the um, eel will lay, and on the bottom level has a sump, which contains more of the system water with the sedative in it, and a pump with a hose that we then run up to the top portion, put it into the animal's mouth so they continue to breathe and remain sedated throughout the procedure. The physical examination itself will start off with our veterinary team assessing the outward appearance of the animal, looking for any wounds, any scars, any lumps or bumps that may be there, getting a good look at their eyes to make sure that they're clear. And then they move on to blood collection so that we can evaluate what's going on with the internal systems of the animal and see how they're functioning. And then we'll also do an endoscopy. Um, moray eels are prone to gastric polyps, which are little, little skin tabs inside of the um, gastrointestinal tract, which can interfere with their digestion. So we'll actually put a camera or an endoscope down their throats and into their stomachs so that we can get a look at the tissue in there and make sure that it's healthy enough for them to continue to function properly. We will also do an ultrasound, which gives our vets the opportunity to evaluate their heart rate, see their heart valves actually pumping and moving, see their liver and evaluate the health status of their liver based on appearance and can also sometimes help us determine what gender our animals are. The preventive health care program really helps us to take better care of our animals by being able to assess their health care routinely by establishing normal baseline healthy values for these animals. We are able to detect when things aren't functioning properly with them and we can detect illness and disease early so that we can treat it early and keep them as healthy as can be for as long as can be.